All right, so let's talk about the command menu. So if you're into shortcuts or hotkeys or anything that's going to shave off some time while developing, then you'll like command menu. So the command menu is basically a really cool search tool built into the dev tools that allows you to do things like run commands, open files, run snippets, navigate the dev tools just with a couple clicks. So let's go ahead and see what the command menu is all about. If you haven't yet subscribed and you like web programming videos that get to the point, then please like and subscribe so you can be notified when I share my work. All right, so to open up the command menu, we're gonna go ahead and use the keys Command Shift P for Mac, and it would be Control Shift P for Windows. The first thing you're gonna see is the menu defaulting with the greater than symbol, and this is how we run commands. Now, to use the commands panel, you just simply start typing whatever you're looking to do right after that greater than symbol or character with no spaces. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So, let's say I wanted to bounce from this elements tab over to the um, performance tab. So, you just start typing in performance, hit enter. You can see it actually just bounces me right to the performance tab. Let's say I want to go to the console. I just start typing console hit enter and now I'm at the console uh, let's try something like disabling JavaScript so disable JavaScript or I might have it disabled already enable JavaScript there we go and we have JavaScript enabled um, let's try one more let's try uh, disabling caching or enabling caching. Looks like we already had caching disabled, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable the caching. All right, so I'm not gonna go through the whole list of commands, but if you go ahead and just scroll through the list that auto-populates when you open up the command menu, you're gonna see that there's a lot that you can do. Um, so just go ahead and explore that panel and see what you use a lot and start to apply it. Let's look at what else we can do with the command menu. So go ahead and reopen up your command menu. On a Mac, it's Command-Shift-P. On a Windows uh, machine, it's Control-Shift-P. Um, and then just delete the greater than symbol. You're gonna see that it actually defaults to the open feature, so where we can actually open files. But if you type in the question mark, you're gonna see the different characters that you can use to basically enable other features or uh, use other features in the command menu. So you can, again, open files. You can uh, navigate those files once they're open with the at character and the colon character. You can also run snippets on the fly. So that's a really cool feature that I like to use. Um, let's just try that out. So to, to run a snippet, we saw that the character was a bang. And you can see that it actually auto-populates the snippets that I have stored in my browser. And I can just hit Enter. and It'll actually execute that snippet when I hit Enter. So a lot of really cool things that you can do with the command menu. Go ahead and play with it um, and just think about the ways that you can use it in your workflow and how you can speed up your workflow with the command menu. All right, and that's it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please just leave them in the comments below.